Hello Rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be finishing off our Pier Marquette passenger train with this old-fashioned style lounge car with a viewing platform on the back. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into it. As usual, the first step is to take out a dark oak stair here to be the coupler. And we'll get that attached up on back of the train. Underneath it, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate for an airline. And on either side, a dark oak fence. Then coming off the coupler, we're going to switch to a polished black stone block. And we're going to make a 2 by 3 here. And then another 2 rows of 3 above it. Then we're going to take out a block of netherite down on the rails on the next block for the wheel. Get netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take deep slate tile slabs. And we're going to put it on the upper hip box. And we're going to make two rows of slabs that are five blocks long coming out to each side of the rails. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle and another two rows of five deep slate tile slabs on the upper hip box. Then a third set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna come on top and we're gonna extend this top metal three with polished black stone blocks down to the end of this truck. And we'll do the same thing on the layer above it here. Come on the sides of the truck here, and everywhere there's a wheel, put a deep slate tile slab above the wheel on the side. Same thing over here. Then we're going to come underneath it with a grindstone, and on the side, everywhere there's a wheel, we're going to hang an upside down grindstone in front of the wheel. And of course, we do the same thing over here. So grindstones in front of all three of these wheels here. Then we're going to swing underneath the end of this section here and go back to a dark oak fence gate and extend a row of fence gates down the middle till it meets up with the wheels there. Then on this bottom corner open a fence gate into the side here and also into the side down here. Then on this top corner two stone brick blocks on either side on the third block up. Then a stone brick stair upside down facing this way on each side and then stone brick slabs on each side on the very top edge coming to the end of this. Then we're going to take out a regular stone block and we're going to run a row down each outside edge here going from end to end. So a row here and a row here. Then come back down to the end. We put one blue concrete on each top corner then a block of gold for the logo. In front of that on each side, two blue concrete, then a single black stained glass pane, then a single blue concrete, then another black stained glass pane, another blue concrete, and another black stained glass pane. Same thing over here. Then we'll swing around in front of this and we're going to use our window spacing to measure what the length of the car will end up being. So, coming off this window here, we're going to do two blue concrete, two black stained glass panes, another two blue concrete, and then another two black stained glass panes. Then another two blue concrete here. Another two black stained glass panes. And then two more blue concrete. And another two black stained glass panes. Then after that, three blue concrete. So there should be three blue concrete on the end, and there should be four windows that are two blocks long each. Then we're going to come around underneath it, and we're going to extend out this middle three on the second and third layer with polished blackstone 
till it's lined up with the end of the section we just built. Now we can do our other truck. So on the next block down on the rail, we're gonna get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle. Then deep slate tile slabs, two rows that are five across on the upper hip boxes. Another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And another two rows of deep slate tile slabs on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we'll go back to polished blackstone and bring these next two layers of polished blackstone down to the end of this truck. So do the second and the third layer. Then we're gonna come on the side of the truck here and put a deep slate tile slab on the side above each of the three wheels. Same thing over here. Then just like on the other truck, we come below it here with a grindstone and we hang an upside down grindstone on the sides of the trucks in front of each wheel. Same thing over here, grindstones in front of these wheels. Now come down on the end here and on the second layer up another two rows of three polished blackstone and same thing on the third layer. Now on the top outside edge, two blocks in from the end we're going to put two stone brick blocks on each side. Then an upside down stone brick stair facing this way on each side and then we're going to fill in this top edge all the way down the outside of the car with stone brick slabs until it meets up with this end here. We'll do the same thing on this other side. So go ahead and fill this top edge on this side with stone brick slabs all the way down till it meets up. Now we'll come back up to this end with a regular stone block and continue filling this layer under the windows with a stone block. We're going to bring it all the way down here. And we stop one before where the stone brick block below it is. Same thing on this side. Skip a block in and fill this whole layer with stone blocks coming up this side of the car. Then we'll come back down to this unfinished end here. And starting from the end of this stone section, we're gonna put a blue concrete every other block and then black stained glass in between there. Then we'll come over to this side and we'll copy our blue concrete pattern across to this side of the car. Because all the windows are symmetrical here. Then we can go ahead and come back through and fill the gaps with black stained glass. Then we'll swing around to this end here. Two blue concrete on each outside and then one in the middle and then black glass blocks and a column of two on each of the interior blocks and glass coming over the top. That middle's left open for a door. Then we're going to come all down the side of the car and copy our blue concrete pattern up another layer because the windows will be two blocks tall. We can come right across the end here. And then we do the same thing on this side. Just copy all your blue concrete up. And right down to this end. Then we'll come through on this layer and fill all the gaps with black stained glass panes so all our windows are filled in. Once we have that, we're going to come down the top outside edge of both sides of the car end to end with yellow concrete. Then we can put three blue concrete across the middle of this end here. Now on this porch area we're going to put two upside down polished deep slate stairs and a polished deep slate slab under it to be stairs to get up. 
We'll do the same thing over here. So two upside down stairs and a slab underneath it. Make sure it's directly under it. I was having some trouble placing it here. Then we're gonna put two dark oak fences up the middle. Then in the corner, a polished black stone slab on bottom, and two polished black stone blocks on top. Same thing here, a slab on bottom, two blocks on top. Then we're gonna take a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around, get it stacked to that second block, delete the one used for placement, put a dark oak fence gate underneath it. Then open a dark oak fence gate on either side of the coupler and a warp button on the outside of each side of those. Now we're gonna take out a warp fence and we're gonna start right here and come down three. Then on this side of the stairs, we're gonna come up by three. And we're gonna come straight across the back with it and bring it down on this side. And then over on this side, a column of three as well. Then we're gonna take a warp fence gate, and put it across here so there's actually gates to block off this railing while the train is moving. Now we're gonna come down to the other end of the car here with a regular stone block. We're gonna put an oak door in the middle and surround it with stone blocks and then three more across the top here. Then we're gonna come into the inside of the car here and lined up with the end of this first blue section, we're gonna put two columns of stone blocks coming out from the right-hand side of the car here. And we'll raise that all the way up to the top. Now we're gonna come back down to this other end of the car, swing around like this and put an oak door right here. Now come back down to this end of the car in front of this stone wall, put two bookshelves on bottom, skip a block up, and two sideways barrels. Then we'll put white carpet above the bookshelves, and in this corner we'll close a trap door for our handbrake wheel. Then we're going to take out warp stairs to be seats. Put two this way, skip a block, two the other way. Rotate back, and just keep copying this pattern down. Leaving a block of space between each seat and then having the seats be back to back with a walkway down one side of it. Just keep it coming here. It's tedious. When we get down by this end here, we're gonna go ahead and actually wrap it around one side like this, because this rear end has the big windows to be an observation car. Then we're gonna take out some gray carpet, and we're gonna fill in the whole floor of this car with gray carpet, just so it looks a little better. And even up in between all the seats here. So just bring gray carpet all the way down anywhere that nothing is built. up this little hallway and across this end. Now we're gonna take out a polished diorite slab and we're gonna fill in this top middle three level with the top of the yellow concrete all the way down to the other end. Then we're gonna go ahead and come back inside the car because we need to light it. And this one's an older style one, so we're gonna use torches. I'm gonna put a torch on this first column of blue concrete on each side. Not in that corner, on the first column there. And we'll move forward. We'll go ahead and put two on this section here and here. put one on each side here. We'll go ahead and put one up in this corner. That way 
Our interior is nice and lit up. Now on top, we're going to put a row of four dark prismarine slabs on either side. Then we're going to turn and put a dark prismarine stair facing this way on each side and three coming across the end middle like that. Then we're going to put outward facing dark pr prismarine stairs here. And we're going to bring it all the way forward until it's in the third column of two wide blue concrete. Stop before the end of it and we're going to turn the end one so it comes around the corner. Same thing here, so one this way, and then fill this one in all the way back here with sideways dark prismarine stairs. Then we're going to go back to dark prismarine slabs and bring slabs down to the end of the car on each side. and then three stairs across the middle facing this way. Then in front of these stairs, we're gonna fill in this top middle three with blue concrete, going all the way down to the other end of the car. Then we're gonna come in between the cars here, and in front of this door, put an iron trap door so there's a walkway, and then we're gonna surround the door with polished black stone wall to be the diaphragm. So come right up and over the top, and three up this side. Then we're going to put a crimson button on each of the corners of the stone blocks up there. Then we're going to come up here, put a flower pot here, and a lightning rod there. Then coming across where the first sideways stairs are, we're going to make a 3x6 of iron trap doors. Then down on this end, we're going to make a two by three. And then put two flower pots right there. Then here and here we put an iron trap door and on these two corners an iron trap door. Then two lightning rods like that and a flower pot two blocks in from it on the middle. And I just realized we messed this up. This roof needs to extend out over this porch. So delete these three stairs out of the middle and we'll put two rows of three blue concrete across there. And then three dark prismarine stairs on the end, and then extend dark prismarine slabs out to the end. In the middle of this, we'll put a glow item frame with redstone in it to be the rear end marker light. Come down under here, and we'll put two torches so there's lights on this porch. Now we're going to come down and do the bottom details here. So we're going to come on bottom, skip two in front of the wheels, and we're going to make four rows of polished black stone slabs coming across. Extend them out to the side, and put four netherite above them. Then we're going to come back on bottom here, skip another two blocks forward, take back out your polished black stone slab, and we're going to end up making five rows of slabs on bottom. Bring it right across the bottom and extend it out to the side. Above those five slabs, we're gonna put five polished black stone walls. And then up here, we're gonna put three sideways grindstones. Then we'll come over and complete the details on this side here. So take out your polished black stone slabs and extend your two groups of slabs out to the side on this side. This one gets four netherite above it. This group gets five polished black stone walls. Then skip a block and three sideways grindstones. And there we have it folks. We finally completed our Pier Marquette passenger train with this rear end observation car with a porch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.